As the winter sports wraps up in the next few weeks, one team is gearing up for the biggest competition of the year. Here's Cage Grizz Lauren Khalil live in studio this morning to tell us what this team is doing to prepare for nationals. Hey, Lauren. Hey, Chad. Well, the team we're talking about is the Gem City's All-Star Cheer Squad. Now, this group of young women come from all over the Tri-States, and they're looking for the chance to take home the gold. I'm taking it back to the old school because I'm with you. The Gem City All-Star Cheer Squad is just two months away from heading to nationals. This is the team's third year competing regionally, but it's their first year competing nationally. We finally started working together more as a team. We've got a little bit of an older team, so it's a lot easier for us to work together, so we have a little bit more experience. The team placed first in two competitions this season, which gave them their bid to nationals. It was unbelievable when they called us for first place. I it was an overwhelming feeling of emotions that day. At first, they were unsure if they would be able to compete in nationals because of costs. Between uniforms, choreography, music, hotels, and a competition fee, it costs each team member about $300. But it didn't take long for the team to decide they would take on the opportunity. With only a handful of practices left, the team says it's crunch time. They're going to be intense and at some points brutal. You know, they really just got to go routine, 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 work on the stunts, work on the tumbling, and push as hard as they can. And really, it's a group effort. You know, they got to want it for themselves and they got to want it for the team. But these girls are more than just teammates. They're also friends. There's a lot more friendships here, and you just feel really at home and competing with your best friends. It's really fun. We were all from completely different schools, and we have come together to form one great all-star team. Now the team will compete against 20 to 30 teams in nationals from May 2nd to May 4th. Chad. So Lauren, I happen to know that you've competed at nationals for dance. So how exactly does this whole competition work? Well, all of the teams will first compete in prelims on the first day, and then based on scoring, the top 10 teams will go to finals on the second day. And let me tell you, while waiting to hear your scores, it's incredibly intense because the, the teams are only about a tenth of a point away from each other, so it's just a really um, intense moment for those girls. All right, well, best of luck to them.